Hey guys, how are you doing out there? You're looking at Las Vegas and you're wondering, what are the 10 best Las Vegas hotels in 2022? Let's check it out, let's cover it. I'm going according to Travel and Leisure. I don't know if you've heard of that publication. You can find it online. I'll leave a link down below of what are the 10 best hotels in Las Vegas this year. And let's start off with number 10 is Caesars Palace. Caesars uh, is definitely a top 10 hotel for sure. It's been around forever. And uh, they do all kinds of cool stuff in here as far as entertainment, clubs, food, like they have the best of everything. They have two huge towers and Nobu is also in there. You guys have to try this if it's your first time in Las Vegas. I would say come here and uh, check it out. Earn some rewards, gambling, and all that stuff. They get an 82.39 as far as their score goes according to Travel and Leisure. And let's take a look at the website real quick. Maybe we can get some better ideas of what to expect here at Caesars Palace, you can get a room for $85. Not sure where it's going to uh, be at, but you can get a room for $85 running through August 16th through August 18th. So there you go. Oh, yes. And wow, the deals are just uh, flowing here. You get the best guaranteed rate, free express checkout, uh, free 48-hour cancellation, safe now, pay later, exclusive member pricing, and view all you can do all that stuff but anyways i recommend that if you do stay in vegas even if it's your first time that you do gamble get a player's card when you come and uh, you can get that through their player's card um, thing on the floor when you gamble it is a free card you can get you basically just put it in the slot machine and put a hundred dollars in and play and you know wait till that expires for like 25 minutes you know, at least play for 25 minutes on a machine or various machines, and they'll send you offers for the next time you stay in Vegas. They'll send you email offers to come back for free rooms and free food vouchers. So it's totally worth it to gamble here. 100 bucks, you're going to spend 100 bucks anyway. So that's kind of the, you know, the hack to Vegas and how to get the free stuff is you got to gamble a little bit, not too much, but you know, you get the idea. You got to pay to play here and let's move on to the next one number nine according to travel and leisure is vidara hotel and spa just zoom in on this uh, photo here but look at the rooms it's really spacious they got like a vaulted ceiling and uh some, some great views out in the windows cool seating like a dining area they even i think they uh some of them have like a kitchenette that you can uh, make food and stuff like that in there but vidar is very nice there is no gambling here there's no hotel you know, a casino floor at the Vidara, but it's a nice place to stay if you're looking for a nice, comfortable place uh, without all the riffraff going on or all the noise or whatever it might be. So that's cool. So anyways, let's go to number eight real quick is going to be the Aria Resort Casino. And this one is a really nice one. It's at the city center there. And it's, it's pretty nice. The pools are not... Eh, you know, look how close the chairs are to th together. I just didn't, I don't know. I don't really care for the pool area. But the hotel in itself is awesome. They have plenty of great restaurants. We'll go to their website real quick, see what they got going on there. And looks like they are doing some uh, VIP football packages for Allegiant Stadium. So you can book a package at uh, Allegiant. So you can, you know, if you wanted to go to a college game or a Denver, Las Vegas uh, versus Las Vegas uh, Raiders. Looks like October 2nd, Denver versus Las Vegas Raiders. You can get a $1,500 per person or uh, $29.97 offer for based on two-person stay. You can book a package there. So that includes all kinds of cool VIP pass and all that neat stuff. When you want to go to a game, you can stay there. So they're actually doing... A lot of cool VIP packages and along with their hotel stays here. I uh, wonder if any other properties at MGM do the same thing, but this is pretty cool. Maybe it's for all their properties, but that's a good idea. I hope they do more of that here. But you can do entertainment, sports entertainment, pools and cabanas. Uh, you know, they got the MGM sports betting app as well. So if you're into MGM properties, Aria is uh, 
a really nice hotel. We like going to the dessert bar on the casino. If you've never been there, they do awesome coffee and desserts that are really custom kind of custom made delicacies, I guess you would call it. But anyways, let's move on to number seven is Bellagio Resort and Casino. Bellagio has been around for a long time. They have the fountains on the front and also the floral conservatory, as you see right here which is very nice, and it's an experience, definitely. It changes every year. This looks like it's from the Chinese New Year that they do in the uh, the winter months in February, and it goes on for a whole month long, and uh, this is awesome. You guys get to experience this, take it all in, take photos, but when you enter in here, it feels like you are just in another world in itself. So, yeah, check that out if you've never been to Bellagio Casino. And they get up on 86.85 on their uh, Richter scale. I'm going to call it the Richter scale because I don't have no idea what the number means or the score means. Well, maybe it's based on 100. But uh, Mayfair Supper Club is their newest addition to this hotel. And they got luxury redefined uh, newly remodeled rooms. So let me know if you guys have stayed here and... Uh, if you like their rooms, the remodel, and all that stuff, maybe some of you have been to these hotels and would like to share your experience in the comments below. That'd be awesome. But, yeah, they've got awesome restaurants. They're all top-notch restaurants here. None of – they didn't chintz on anything in this hotel. So if you're looking for a cheap place to eat here, this is not the place for sure. So be prepared for that. But if you're staying here, man, you're going to have an experience here that is way awesome because you get the fountains, you get the floral conservatory, you get the entertainment, you get the Bellagio O, the, you know, the, the super fantastical uh, Cirque Soleil show. So that's what Bellagio is all about. If you want to look at entertainment, of course, we just talked about the Cirque Soleil thing. You can get dates and times and all that stuff. You can definitely plan your whole vacation at your hotel's uh, website. So definitely do that. If you're staying at some of these fancier places, you're going to want to do that because you don't want to waste your time here. I say that every time uh, people are planning their stuff and wanting to come to Vegas, you want to plan some things out so you can do things on a scheduled kind of a thing. Anyway, that's Bellagio, number seven. So let's go to number six, which is the Encore. Encore is uh, north of the Strip, and it's near Fashion Show Mall, right next to, obviously, the Wynn. And we'll get to that in just a second. But Encore is uh, pretty cool. They have a lot of entertainment, of course. And they're going to have a lot of pool parties at Excess and the day club, all that stuff. People love going here. The younger types love it. And also they're involved with the Formula One race. The Formula One race is going to be on the Las Vegas Strip, November 2023, as you can see here. This is going to be interesting because I don't know if it's going to be Formula One traditional uh, engines in the car or if it's going to go electric um, cars. I have no idea. But it seems like this one is Formula One's new electric F1 race is going to be electric. So I'm excited to see that. I didn't know that it was going to be electric. But I do have a um, track circuit of the track. I did a POV just uh, driving around with a camera point of view through the track. So if you guys want to see that, I have a link uh, provided for you so you can see the track for the F1 race so you can get a bird's eye view of what it's going to look like as far as a race car point of view. So this has been remodeled and all that stuff. The wind tower is uh, exclusive entrance, daily breakfast. Uh, so you get a little bit more stuff with the tower part of it. This place is awesome. They're a five star operation and you will definitely notice that when you walk in the door for sure so encore is number six but let's move on to number five on the list we're going up here so las vegas is the ultimate destination for anybody that wants to get into the casino life nightlife also to enjoy all the attractions that it has to offer. And the Venetian Resort Las Vegas has that there. Number five here, according to Travel and Leisure. But they got the gondola rides inside and outside. So that's cool. So you can take your sweetheart for a nice serenade on the river and also go through some shopping and entertainment. And also the restaurants are just endless here. So this is where you want to go for any kind of meal that you're looking for, any kind of dinner, uh, reservation. Th this place rocks, man. I love coming here. It's one of my favorite places to go to because it's so large and they have so much to offer. Now, the entertainment is great. 
the pool and spa, everything's been remodeled. The Tao Beach Club has been remodeled and the Aquatic Club and the Venetian Roy Resort pools have been remodeled. They did uh, a lot of redos here since the shutdowns and all that stuff. But the resort is awesome. But uh, this winter, they're going to do the Mr. Olympia competition here. They used to do it at the convention center and also the Orleans Arena. So that's where they did it at. Now they're moving it to the Venetian and also the uh, Venetian Expo is where they're going to have their fitness expo. I'll be going to that. So check it out because I do like to work out and do all kinds of cool stuff with uh, fitness. Oh, there's just so many nooks and crannies in this place. Uh, even if you wanted to eat, you know, if you're a late night eater, they have a diner here. The Grand Lux is open 24-7 at the Venetian. It's kind of like a glorified uh, Denny's, but it's really nice. And all the servers treat you well. Anyways, let's move on to the Four Seasons. So that's number four. Moving up on the list here, the Four Seasons is south of the Strip. That's all the way in the end, and that's near Mandalay Bay. It's connected in some fashion or form. I've never been to it. I've never walked in here, but let's take a look at their website and see what they have to offer. And again, if you're curious about this stuff, definitely check out this link for this uh, article and so you can connect with these websites to get a better idea if you want to stay at these places or just plan out your stuff. But anyways, we'll go to photos and videos and see what's going on. So these are the pool area looks pretty cool. The rooms look exquisite. Yeah, this, this is not your average hotel room for sure. The beds are nice, got a nice view of the strip and different stuff, different angles. The bartenders are on point. They'll customize a nice mix for you. Loungy areas, it looks very comfortable and yeah, it looks really nice. So it looks like the main entry. And they'll have special stuff to do with your sweetheart or if you guys are just looking to uh, let's see what the video does. Let's, I'll play the video without the sound just so you can get the, an idea of some thrilling things you can do in Vegas. Of course, this is MGM property, so they're going to beef it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, soothing massage and get you all right. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty peaceful. Okay. <clears throat> there you have it, Four Seasons Hotel. Nice, it's got everything you want for a nice upscale. All right, so let's move on to the Cromwell, which is number three. How did the Four Seasons uh, get below Cromwell? I'm not quite sure how that worked out, but this is a popular destination for a lot of people because they go to the Dre's Party uh, Club upstairs, and Dre's is very popular with you know hip hop artists, people that love the party. If you're in the in crowd, this is where you want to be at, and uh, Cromwell does it, and. It's right next door to Bally's, across the street from Caesars, so it's kind of in that real busy area of things. But uh, it is a Caesar property. Let's take a look at this for real quick. Maybe they'll have, yeah, there it is, Cromwell. Wow, you can get a room for 69 bucks through this weekend. So maybe the weekend, let's check out the weekend here. Let's see, the Cromwell. Let's say I wanna get here Thursday and Stay till Sunday. Oh, messing it up already. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but remember to play with your player's card. Deluxe Room King, 249 That's not bad. These are not bad prices. Not bad at all. Looks really nice, very comfortable. I've never stayed at Cromwell. I'm just kind of going through this. 
We'll go through the photo gallery here real quick. There it is. That's what it looks like. Looks like some rooftop jacuzzis, party. Uh, that looks like uh, Giada's restaurant. That's their floor. I actually had used to have a chandelier like this for the dining room. It's crazy looking. We got rid of it. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, definitely this is the party. This is what they do. This is. Uh, this is why people come to the Cromwell, stay at the Cromwell for the parties. So yeah, there you go, Cromwell. So Cromwell makes it to number three on the list of travel and leisure. Let's go to number two, which is Cosmopolitan. I have to agree, Cosmopolitan is definitely up there. This is our chandelier bar shown here. And I got to tell you, this place is pretty cool. You got to be on a mission when you're here because a lot of people are just that. They are on a mission when they come to do this property here, you can tell by the people that are standing here who they're marketing to. This is the crowd, the crazy crowd, the, the couple that blindfolds each other and walks around town. The guys that are always holding something, pretending that they're talking to someone. There's always, there's always a girl wearing uh, white in the background holding something. I don't know what she's holding. Maybe keys to the castle. And the roller girls... They're always hanging out. So you know what's going on at the Cosmo when you see a crowd like that there. But the rooms are great. The views are awesome. And that's why a lot of people come here to get a room here is to check out the strip at a late night. And they can take a video and Snapchat and whatever they do with the TikToks, food and drink, lounges, restroom, uh, room service, cocktail hour, all kinds of cool stuff here. I'm not going to go through it all, but you guys get the idea. Do your own due diligence. I'm just kind of going through the list and seeing what Travel and Leisure has to say about this one. But number one on the list, the very last one, is the number one hotel in Las Vegas. It's always going to be the win. It's always the win. I don't know how Resorts World did not even make the list this year. I don't know what disqualified them for even not even showing up on the radar. But uh, maybe they're still in construction with a lot of stuff. But who knows? But the wind does take it. They've always taken it here. And they are number one for a reason. They did a, over a $2 million um, remodel, revamp of their stuff. So it's very, very gorgeous, stellar service, excellent restaurants, all that stuff. So I'm just kind of reading what they have here. And they have all the entertainment. So they get a 91.89 on their scoring i think it's out of 100 but that's probably what it's going what's going on there of course you want to get a player's card when you come here and start gambling and earn those points earn the rewards go shopping there's meeting there's events they have a new conference center here oh man they got every casino is just building up more and more things for people to do and have more options for people but their dining is Probably the best dining experience you can have on the strip as far as what the, you know, reviews are saying and all that stuff. But definitely give it a try if you're looking for something really special or something you just want to try the best place in Las Vegas. It would be the win. And that's all I have to say about this list. I will have to agree that maybe some things were left out. I don't know. Top 10, maybe there should be a top 15. But let me know what your hotel experience is. What is your favorite? Does it make this list? Or is it on the list? What are your experiences when you stay at these hotels? Definitely leave them down in the comments. They're open for you to take advantage of and let us know what's going on with your experience of these hotels. Or just let me know what one do you like best when you come to Las Vegas. But that's the top list, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheerio.